what's up guys hope you all are well so today i will discuss about time domain analysis of first order rl and rc circuit which is lecture 6 of basic electrical engineering so what is time domain time domain refers to the analysis of mathematical function physical signals or time series of economic or environmental data with respect to time an oscilloscope is a tool commonly used to visualize real world signal in the time domain. So, myself, Mr. Santana Noskar, Assistant Professor of Electrical Department, GKCM GIS Group, and my mail ID is santanu.uit at the rate of gmail.com and santanu.noskar underscore gkcm at the rate of GIS Group dot org. And this is my Facebook page, Wing Electrify with Santanu. You can get all the lecture in my Facebook page and also in my YouTube channel. So before starting this lecture, I want to share with you something that was told by Swami Vivekananda. That is, you have to grow from the inside out. None can teach you, none can make you spiritual. There is no other teacher but your own soul. So let's talk about your syllabus. So, course title is Basic Electrical Engineering, Category Engineering Science Course and course code double e, ES double e 101. ES means Engineering Science Course, double e means Electrical Engineering and 101 is your first same code. So, there are three hours lecture per week and one hour tutorial per week. So, about this module, there are six modules. And this module 1, I have already complete electric circuit elements RLC, voltage current source, KCL, KVL, superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem. And today I will discuss the last lecture of module 1 that is time domain analysis of first order RL and RC circuit. You can get all the lecture in my YouTube channel. I have made a playlist for you. You can get the all basic electrical engineering in my channel. So let's start. So for your help, I will explain you a very simple example. Time domains refers to a variation of amplitude of signal with time. For example, consider a typical electrocardiogram which is called ECG. If the doctor maps the heartbeat with the time, Say the recording is done for 20 minutes we call it a time domain signal okay so let us talk about the time domain analysis of first order rl and rc circuit some important thing that analysis of response of circuit consisting of rlc voltage source current source and switches to certain application of voltage or current is called as time domain analysis and transient response When AC or DC voltage source is connected to circuit, a steady state current can be calculated by many methods already discussed in Ohm's law. It is also assumed that circuit element R, L, C are constant and source is very strong to absorb any disturbance. Amongst basic circuit elements, register is energy distribution concept and inductor capacitor are energy storing element, electromagnetic and electrostatic. Response of these elements to nature of source and disturbance varies from source to source. Transient, which is current or voltage lasting for short duration. Now, the think transient what is the mean of transient this is a short period of current and voltage lasting okay short time period means transient so transient in circuit is due to energy storing element and for source free circuit transient response is called as natural response and for circuit with source transient response is called as forced response. So remember two point for source free circuit transient response is called as natural response 
and for circuit with source tangent response is called as force response here is a source free rl network and this is a with source rl network so also there are something that disturbance in steady operation of circuit is unavoidable and can be of any type as well number one any circuit suddenly connected to source or disconnected from source number two sudden change in applied voltage from one level to another level okay number three faults like short circuit or open circuit and after disturbance current or voltage shall have two components number one final steady state component when t proportional to or tends to infinity that's mean time tends to infinity and number two transient component lasting for short duration that may settle down to zero or final value so this is a source vrl network and this is a with source rl network so as example if this is a steady system uh, c with no wave so this is a system during disturbance okay and this is a continuous disturbance so before discussing the time domain analysis of first order rln and rc circuit you have to know that equation for the circuit formed using KVL and KCL consisting of basic element content derivatives and integral of current and voltage. Due to above facts equation are not algebraic but are differential in nature and solution of differential equation are function of time and not constant as in case of purely resistive circuit. Now I will discuss about time domain analysis of first order series RL circuit. So figure 1 shows a series RL circuit connected a DC source through a switch when switch S is close at t greater than 0 as for KVL network equation will be so if we apply KVL here, then we get RIT plus LDIT by DT equals to PS, which is equation 1. Remember the equation RIT plus LDIT by DT equals to PS. In last of this topic, I will conclude the equation. So above equation is non-homogeneous equation, linear differential equation of first order. So the solution of equation 1 will give IT which consists of two component number 1 complementary function which is INT which will satisfy DIT by DT plus R by LIT equals to 0 and number 2 particular integral IFT which is will satisfy RIT plus LDIT by DT equals to Vs. So the complete solution may be written as IT equals to INT plus IJT. Okay. Mixture of those two. Now IT equals to I0 caps i0 e to the power minus rl by t which is equals to caps i0 e to the power minus t by tau this is equation 3 so what is tau here tau is equals to l by r which is time constant of rl circuit so equation 3 provides the natural reproduce and is reproduced below which is i n t minus k e to the power minus r l by minus r by l t minus k e to the power minus t by tau which is equation 4 
now equation one can be written with i t equals to i equals to constant so r i plus l d i by d t minus v s so this is equation five since i constant we can write l d i by d t equals to zero now i f t equals to i which is equals to v s by r so substitute equation four and equation six in equation two the both have yield the solution of equation one is we get i t equals to k e to the power minus t by tau plus v s by r equals to k e to the power minus t by tau plus i which is equation seven now k is determined from initial condition when t equals to zero so equation seven will be k equals to minus v s by r equals to minus i which is equation eight so hence complete solution of equation one given by i t equals to v s by r with bracket one minus to the power minus r by l t bracket close i t equals to caps i 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau for t greater than 0. So here a graph between time versus current. So here the difference value of tau and tau equals to 0 0.2.0 second, 1.0 second and 0 0.5 second. So the difference value of current versus time graph. So this is the value of tau now i will show a graph between transient time versus current so loop current 37 percent and i max 63 percent here look at this point so this is steady state value now i equals to v by r 1 minus to the power minus r t by l and v l equals to v to the power minus r t by l now I will discuss about time domain analysis of first order series RC circuit. So figure 2 shows a series RC circuit connected across DC source through a switch S. It is assumed that the capacitor voltage when switch S is close at T greater than 0. Then as per KVL equation, the equation will be Vs minus Rit minus Vct equals to G which is equation 9. So for analysis of circuit of figure 2 the capacitor voltage Vct is chosen as variable. Remember the Vct is capacitor voltage. Now substituting It equal to Cd Vct by Dt in equation 9 we get Rcd Vct by Dt plus v c t equals to v s for t greater than 0 which is equation 10. Now above equation 10 is like equation 1 which I have discussed for RL series RL circuit time domain analysis of series RL circuit is also non-homogeneous equation linear differential equation of faster therefore solution and solution is similar as equation 1 which is vct equals to k e to the power minus t by tau plus vs which is equation 11. Now in equation 11 the time constant tau is rc remember the time constant tau is rc or series rc circuit by substituting initial condition in equation 11 vc equals to v0 and it leads to k equals to v0 minus vs now by substituting value of k in equation 11 and after simplification we get vct equals to v0 e to the power minus t by tau plus vs with bracket 1 minus e to the power minus t by tau v for t greater than 0 which is equation 11 12 now the expression for the current in the circuit is given by i t equal to c d v c t y t t and i t equals to c 
with bracket minus 1 by tau v0 e to the power minus t by tau plus 1 by tau v s e to the power minus 1 by tau. Now i t equals to c by r c v s minus v0 e to the power minus t by tau and i t equals to v s minus v0 by r e to the power minus t by tau which is equation 30. Now I will discuss about a uh, graph between capacitor voltage in volts and circuit current in amperes. So look here versus time. Look here this is the capacitor voltage in volts and this is circuit current in ampere. Then the charging current charge on capacitor versus time so this is time constant rc 2rc 3rc 4rc and this is charging current and this is charge on capacitor so this is v by r this is i max look at this graph so here yeah, the charging current is v b by r e to the power minus t by rc and charge on capacitor is q which is CVB1 minus e to the power minus T by RC. Next, I will discuss about some reference book of your course. So, first book is Basic Electrical Engineering by Ritu Sahadev. Then, Basic Electrical Engineering by D.P. Kothari and I.J. Nakrat. This is the best book according to my choice for Basic Electrical Engineering. Then Basic Electrical Engineering by DC Kulasistha. Then Fundamental of Electrical Engineering by Leonard S. Bobro. Then Electrical and Electronics Technology by Hughes and revised by John Hille, Keith Brown and Ian Mackenzie Smith. Next Electrical Engineering Fundamentals by Vincent Del Toro. So hope you all enjoy my lecture. So if you have any query, please comment in my comment box. I will definitely reply to your comment. So like, share and subscribe my channel and stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.